Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys I am going to do an in-depth review of this LM35 analog temperature sensor. Also in this video guys I am going to tell you how to install this analog temperature sensor onto your flight controller. So guys if you are new to assembling don't ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Let's get started. So guys before we start with the installation of this temperature sensor onto the drone frame guys let me walk you through some of the functions and feature which this has to offer. Before we do that guys let's quickly unbox this and see how does it look like. So whenever you purchase this guys this comes in this transparent packaging. I will put the link to purchase this temperature sensor in the description below guys for you to check it out. So guys whenever you unbox this temperature sensor this is how it looks like. It looks like more like a transistor if you have purchased or seen one before. It has a flat surface onto the top guys where you have some of the inscription or writing that tells you which type of sensor it is. And onto the other side guys you can see it is a circular surface which very much resembles any transistor that is available and onto the market. But this is not a transistor guys this is a temperature sensor which is available onto the market. Onto the top side guys you can see it is written here as LM35 which shows that this is a temperature sensor. As per the pin diagram goes guys whenever you put this sensor like this the leftmost pin that you have is your VBAT or voltage reference. This can operate from a voltage of 5 volt to 30 volt guys so this is also something really nice. On to the right side guys you can see the pin that you have is your ground and the center pin is your analog output which is proportional to the voltage that it is sensing. So this is the pin diagram guys this is how it looks like. As I have already told you guys this has an operating voltage from 5 volt to 30 volt and it utilizes the maximum current input of 60 micro -amp. Here. So guys this temperature sensor can be used to sense the temperature range from minus 50 degree centigrade to plus 150 degree centigrade which is a huge range and it is a huge plus for this sensor guys which is why this is really popular and it is really easy to use guys when you have an inbuilt ATC onto your flight controller. So this temperature sensor has a linear output guys which is also something really nice guys. So every degree change that it senses it increases or drops the corresponding voltage onto the center pin by 10 millimeters volt so depending upon if the voltage is increasing or decreasing so you will know if your temperature that it is sensing is increasing or decreasing guys it has an accuracy of plus minus half degree centigrade when you use this temperature sensor at around room temperature whenever you use it at higher temperature guys the accuracy decreases guys but then you will definitely have a reference that you can always optimize so this is also something really nice about this temperature sensor guys now let me tell you how to connect this temperature sensor onto your flight controller so guys using this temperature sensor is super easy onto your flight controller guys depending upon the type of flight controller that you have. If you have any spare ADC port onto your flight controller you can definitely use this temperature sensor to connect it to that ADC port with center port going to the ADC port and then you have the 5 volt and then a ground to connect it to your flight controller. If you do not have a spare ADC port guys onto your flight controller but your flight controller does have an airspeed sensor port which you can use to connect an analog airspeed sensor guys. If you are not connecting an airspeed sensor to your flight controller you can use the that port as well so as to be able to connect this temperature sensor there. All you need to do is fiddle with some of the sensitivity and the constant so as to give an output proportional to the temperature instead of the airspeed. So guys that is how I am going to connect it to my flight controller guys. Since I am using my flight controller in the quadcopter or multirotor mode guys I will not be using the airspeed sensor onto my flight controller guys. At the same time guys my flight controller has a dedicated port of airspeed sensor guys which is why I am going to use this analog temperature sensor to connect to that port and then I will configure it in my INAP or beta flight so as to give me a temperature reading instead of the airspeed reading accurately on my flight controller guys. So that is what I am going to do guys. So let's quickly go and connect this temperature sensor onto my flight controller. As you can see guys here this is my flight controller which is Metexas F765WSE. Here on my flight controller guys here you can see this port is your airspeed sensor analog input port guys. This port is used to connect an airspeed sensor guys but since this is a quadcopter guys I would not need an airspeed sensor to be connected to my flight controller guys. So I will be using instead this port as an ADC port to sense the temperature output which is given by LM35. So I am going to connect the center pin here and then I have a voltage 
stitch pin here and ground pin here or it is available here as well wherever i want i can connect and provide a 5 volt and ground and then the center pin here to connect my temperature sensor here as you can see guys i have a video transmitter and my esc guys so these two components gets real hot at the time of operation guys so i'll be using the temperature sensor to sense the temperature which is generated between these two component guys so as to be able to get the temperature reading and how hot is my video transmitter or my ESC to get the temperature reading as part of my telemetry guys so that is what I'm going to do so this temperature sensor guys I'll be connecting it to a wire first so as to be able to have a length so that I can insert this temperature sensor between these two component guys and then connect the other side of the wire onto the sensor port guys so let's do that quickly so guys let's quickly solder the wires onto this temperature sensor first guys as you can see this is the flat surface that i have so this side pin is your voltage and that side is your ground and the center one is output let me reverse that and put it onto the dst so that it holds and i will connect the wires onto these pins so now since i have reversed it so this one is my voltage this one is my ground and center one is my output pin so let's connect the wire before we do that guys let's put some of the solder so that it holds the wire connection onto its place so let's put the solder first and the last one onto the bottom so that it holds the wire okay so let's quickly solder it so the green one goes to the ground so let's put it like this so that it aligns with the wire and I'm going to put some solder on it so my ground is connected then my purple one is going to be my voltage so let's align that too so my voltage is also connected now to the center pin guys so that we have the signal So as you can see guys all three wires are now connected guys i will secure all these lines by using this shrinking plastic cover that i have guys so i will insert each one of them with this shrinking package push it all the way to the top guys so that your wires do not get short circuited guys you can see guys i have put it all the way to the top now let me shrink it using the heat gun guys so that it holds So as you can see guys all my shrinking cover is now shrinked now let me again put another bigger shrinking cover guys onto the top so as to consolidate these wires onto one place so guys as you can see i have already put another shrinking cover so as to consolidate the wire at its place now let me shrink it again so that the wire stays at its place so here you can see guys my sensor is now connected to wire just to walk you through again the purple one is positive the green one is negative and the orange one is going to be the sensor output that is going to my airspeed sensor guys now let's quickly connect these wires onto the flight controller so guys as i have told you before i'm going to connect the signal pin here onto my airspeed sensor which is also an adc port on my flight controller guys and then ground and vx from here guys so let's quickly do that before we do that guys as always let's quickly tin the ports this is your airspeed sensor port guys this is where your signal goes and then you have ground and 5 volt So as you can see guys I have successfully tinned all the ports let's quickly connect the wire let's connect the orange wire first onto the airspeed sensor guys so that is my signal pin as I told you before guys this is going to be the orange pin guys here on my wire so the orange is connected let's quickly connect the ground first the ground is green so my ground is connected now let's connect the VCC as well so which is the purple let's quickly connect that to VCC 
so guys all my wires are now connected so this is how you install your temperature sensor guys let me quickly push this temperature sensor between my vtx and my esc i have a space to put the temperature sensor so guys i have inserted my temperature sensor between my esc and my vtx so as to get the right temperature just between these two so as to monitor the temperature between my esc and my vtx because this is the place where it gets really hot guys so i have put my temperature sensor here which is coming through this wire which was connected here guys so this is it guys this is how you connect the analog temperature sensor onto your flight controller in my future videos guys i am going to tell you how to configure this temperature sensor in your inav or beta flight so as to ensure to get the right temperature reading from this sensor so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so this concludes this tutorial guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies